Do you want to know how I run my business in Notion? Good, because that's, that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Because when working through the Notion app system in this series, I've shown you all of the personal setup pretty much at this point. Now what we're going to get into is how to make that nice little department section that we've created. If you go into the Notion app system, there's templates for personal and for business. Let's make a departments based one, which really helps me organize my business and categorize things way easier. Gotta get that cup of coffee in, chug water, and we're ready to go. So going into this one, renaming this one to business really quick, as I did duplicate all the other stuff we worked on. And then going into the structure page, it's actually not that hard to get it to be transferred over to a departments based concept. So if you recall, obviously we have the views section, the databases section. So what are we gonna do differently now? What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a th third database here. It's actually pretty simple. We'll make this a lot easier. We're gonna do slash page. So it'd be the columns one here. I'm gonna do departments. And then we're gonna make a table, new database. Cool. So obviously we're gonna have exactly the same kind of concept from like a sorting perspective. So what we can do here is we can make a number property called sorting number, uh, and then the same status symbol. So department status, which would have pinned, as a blue color, active as a green, and archived as gray. It's the exact same vibe of the other setups we had. And then we're gonna have a people property, just like the other ones. And then we're gonna have a relation to the databases. So databases views NAS. I'm gonna make sure I'm in the right one though, because of course there's two of them now. Uh, append some databases. Always make sure you're doing this when you're relating so that you don't accidentally relate the wrong thing. That can cause a lot of headaches So views. Okay, so we got departments and views and add again, relation databases. All right, now it's gonna be like this. Cool. And then from here, obviously sort this by sorting number, as per usual. But then how would we get this to like work with everything, right? So we already have all this other stuff. Uh, we do need to make sure that it would relate to the bookmarks. So let's make sure that we have a bookmarks, NES biz, okay. Bookmarks and departments. What I would recommend you do for all of these very quickly is go into one of them and uh, essentially for the databases I would really recommend you go in there and like uh, make sure that this is hidden so hide and hide so that it just stays clean and the same for the views it doesn't matter whether you're actually gonna have them it just matters that you're gonna make sure it's clean and then we are gonna have one last property which is gonna just be a, a tag property so it's multi-select just call it tags and we're going to do a worker personal just for uh, organization purposes and then what you are going to do is go into the views database you're going to add a couple things that are important so we're kind of like restructuring all of this the sorting number is fine a lot of what's there before is fine but you're going to essentially convert this whole people situation in a different way so uh, the properties here are going to get a little bit tweaked so people here it's gonna get edited to be a roll up, right? That is gonna take the people from the department. So it's like rolling up the different people in the department to easily assign uh, the people quickly. Now you are still gonna have the active, pinned, and archived overrides, but the sorting number is also gonna get changed by having a department sorting number. So let's say we do another property really quick here. Just wanna clean this up a bit. Add a sorting number roll up. So we're gonna do department. Sorting number, I'm gonna just snag the department's sorting number. So that's essentially what we need to do to the database. Now, what we're then gonna do is go back to our settings page and have see how all of this is gonna kind of come into play. So we're gonna to go to the settings page and what we're gonna do is I would recommend you open up the structure in another tab. And at the top, we're gonna to actually open up a departments section. So let's just dupe this uh, just for ease, toggle. Departments, pick that same emoji, departments. And then from here, I just copy this link really quick, paste this in. And now we're gonna get somewhere. Now we're gonna get somewhere. First, we're gonna make a pin department section, just like we had for the first step. So pin departments. So obviously this is gonna be filtered to a department status is pinned. I'm gonna make the view look like this though. So we're gonna do sorting number, what the status is, the people within it, the views, the databases, and the tags. Okay, so now we can Trim this down a bit. It's up to you whether you want to wrap stuff or not. And we're going to just basically take this and uh, do the exact same thing. So active departments, filter to the ones that are active. The same goes for archived. And then the all departments view will work like this. There's just going to be nothing. That's all. Awesome. So what I do recommend you first do is you make a master department, which is kind of a pro hack. So we're going to do master department. We're going to make it a globe. 
And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna essentially make all of the main views that aren't correlated to like a specific department, but are just core tasks, inbox, that kind of stuff. And we're gonna assign it. So basically all the core databases will just take like actions, inbox, second brain, notes, do do. We're just snagging every single basic one right here. And then databases, uh, I guess OKRs could be in a specific one, so I'll leave it. Let's do OKRs as the main one, as an example. And then we can add another one, which is, all right, the second one on the list is uh, growth. For me, that'd be a little lightning emoji. So this can be personal or business, like departments of your life too. So I'm gonna assign this to me. I'm gonna assign this to me as well. And the views aren't necessarily gonna have it. We're also gonna put the settings, because I forgot about that. Settings is gonna be here for the master one. And then database wise, we're gonna have um, habit tracker, journal, and then we're gonna have another one that's just called life. We do a little uh, silhouette or something, or just a smile emoji. Let's do that, I love life. We can make this sorting number number three, also have this, but have the uh, meal planner be the last place on that order. And you'll see why in a second I'm doing this. Um, it makes a lot of sense actually. So these departments are all gonna be pinned, they're all gonna be showcased, uh, except for the life one, let's have this as active. And then in the view section, what we can do is we can instead of grouping it by uh, desktop or mobile, we're gonna instead group it by department and then manually sort it by the department order. So it'd be master first. You see there's no views for uh, these other ones here, uh, but this would technically be um, the mobile ones would be master views as well. So just a quick note here, like the uh, quick capture inbox and actions page. And you notice we have this roll up happening, right? So it's filtered to, was the view status? Yeah. But now let's change the sorting to department sorting number goes over the main sorting number. So it's like first we sort by what department sits in and then we sort it by the order of that specific department. And we do the exact same thing for the database section as well. So. An easy way to just breeze through this is we can uh, duplicate these same views. So in this we'd go active views and then archived views and then all views, so just any of them. And then we follow the exact same setup for when we're going through the databases. So this will make a lot more sense here, uh, but we can essentially just change the sorting to be department sorting number, which I did forget to add, but let's go to the database section and add a roll up for department sorting number. Snag it from the department database, department sorting number. Okay, hide that. So now let's sort this with department sorting number and then group it by department. All right, so now manually group it and order it by master first, then growth and life. And if you wanna put no departments at the bottom, that's what I would probably do. Okay, cool. It's still filtered in the same way. Let me just go through and fix the views really quick to be active databases, filter to active. Do the same for archived and then finish it up by having an all databases view where it's none of them, okay? So you're seeing we're doing this. It's making a lot of sense hopefully, but the last key thing here is how do we get that to impact the whole rest of the setup? Because we've had this nav bar, right? All we need to do is make like two tweaks. One is to the sorting and one is to the filtering. So first of all, we're gonna do it by sorting number obviously, but we're gonna put department sorting number over it for the views and sort department sorting number for the departments. So you'll see now that if for example, growth was lower than life, which was uh, three, if I put four here, habit tracker and journal went under it. Now what you can do to make this even more obvious is you can color code this. So like growth for me could be uh, a yellow icon, right? And I could make the habit tracker yellow or gold, whatever the heck this is. And then make this life one a blue carrot. Have the master one like that. And then we can have this one set to this blue smiley face, right? And then the last key thing here is we're gonna change the filter and it's gonna get a little advanced just like this one, but we'll get it right here. So I did miss one thing. We do need to change for this property that the people are gonna to change to a roll up for the departments as well. So I need to change people to a roll up. And then when working with the filter here, we just need to add an and people, any contains me for both the database filter and the view base filter and in the back end with the mobile filter. So what you'll see really quickly is the cool nature of this setup. So if I go back to the settings page and I change it so that I no longer am a part of the growth one. It doesn't show up. All of the databases. That's pretty cool. 
So now you can add people to departments and only show them specific views based off of what's needed in the departments rather than having to manually add them to each one. And in the views or the databases, you can override it. So say for example, me specifically, I'm not doing cooking anymore or something, but like it's a family thing. All right, let's do archive for Dimitri because I am in the life one, but boom, now it's archive. So this is the kind of stuff that this system can do that is extremely convenient for organization of having multiple people in a team. If you want to have a system like this, make sure to reach out to us. We do offer Notion consulting services at Rice Productive. And make sure to check this video out here on how to improve your productivity even more.